All right, I'm just going to try a preliminary test of this uh, recording because uh, the last one didn't work. So, as you can see up the top here, um, it's just an indicator of the frame rate of the game, which is quite important. It uh, determines how jumpy or uh, fluid the movements are. This is a default screen. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to find uh, an alternative which is uh, more customised. So we enter the game. Uh, it loads fairly quickly. <laughs> Relatively quickly. I might get rid of that music too, or that sound effect. It's a bit annoying after a while. Nearly there. Okay, so we begin um, within the Education Development Centre. This is actually the uh, Office of Curriculum and Accreditation Services. Uh, I thought what we would do is have the learner enter the environment um, in their office, uh, or an office basically, and they might um, come over and talk to their colleagues. Uh, the colleagues could give them a task to do, which is broken down in the design statement. So um, it's a game built to, uh, it's a program built to build game for boys. So yeah, that's why we've got the bikini girl and the surgeon. Um, so say I come over and they say, uh, oh, could you just go over to uh, FLS and pick up the DVD from Colin, the multimedia guy. So we turn around. And as you can see, the game slows down a bit here. Um, I haven't entirely mastered this software, so I'm not entirely sure why. I think it's got something to do with how much information the game's trying to process at any one time. Um, we're on the second floor. This is the Education Development Centre. Uh, that's actually the library down there, um, but because that was slowing the game down quite significantly, I've, I've put a. I've just. <laughs> I've just gotten rid of it. Um, so I might look at options to include that. Uh, there's a lot more furniture, tree, um, potted plants, and shelves in this area. Um, also some wall decoration. Yeah, so the game really slows down a lot here. Um, guess I should have gone the other way. Uh, one of the things that I've had to do with the game so far is work with the um, models that are provided. Uh, so obviously um, I need a, a carpeted floor. You can see that the windows have a biohazard symbol on them, um, but they were the best windows available. Um, so I'll try and replace those. Uh, this is the uh, teacher education section. And there are some posters that we've got up on the wall here. And there's quite a, a prominent uh, flexible learning solutions sign just as you get towards the door. So this is the entry to flexible learning solutions. Uh, this is, um, so we've got the boss's office down there. We've got uh, files and uh, CDs which would represent the resources that the learner is able to access. These would be colour coded to match the subtopics that are mentioned in the design statement. So we've got multimedia, educational design, toolboxes, mobile uh, learning and social web, web CT, and graphic design. Uh, this, oh, sorry, this is the boss's office down here. Uh, these are. Um, computers that are accessible to teachers to come in and work on their um, flexible learning projects at any time they wish. Ideally, uh, I'd set it up so that you could actually come in here and access a, a wiki uh, space or a discussion board. I don't think that's possible in the game, so I need to look at options for that. 
Um, so essentially, as I've been asked to come over to Flexible Learning Solutions and go and find Colin, the multimedia guy, to pick up a DVD, I might put a, uh, a map up on the wall here, which just gives you a UR here, it'd be colour coded. All of the different areas uh, would be colour coded, and there'd also be some icons which we could use as visual metaphors for um, the jobs of the different areas. So say this is Dan, our WebCT guy. Uh, we might have the WebCT logo. We've got uh, Marg, our instructional designer. She might have, uh, um, I don't know, an apple for the teacher. Uh, this is Helen, our uh, toolbox champion. So um, I guess the toolbox would be the fairly obvious visual metaphor there. Rebecca, our graphic designer, so maybe an artist's palette. And then there's me, and maybe uh, an image of a movie camera or something. So I come over here, interact with uh, myself, um, maybe grab a, a CD from the space here, and then I'd um, go back, oh I knocked over a chair, um, go back to my office over at Curriculum and um, that would be the end of the scenario. So that's one option. Um, as I say the resources here are colour coded so if I was interested in and possibly labelled as well if I was interested in multimedia resources I could look at this um, this would trigger a short video or a graphic file um, or an audio file which would provide that information might just um, quickly pop in and say hello to the boss uh, to see what he's doing I'm not entirely sure how to integrate him into this uh, simulation um, so maybe we'll go and ask. Oh, he's a bit crotchety. Uh, we might um, leave him and talk to him another time.